Hey folks, welcome back to another action figure review. We're looking at Lord of the Rings by Diamond Select Toys and the next couple of figures uh, that will complete Sauron for me have has uh, have arrived. So I'm excited to share these. Um, yeah, I think this is the third series. Um, so te yeah, technically I think it's the third series. So I've been looking forward to to these two. I was the Nazgul, the Ringwraith. That will be up next, but this time we're looking at Frodo. And uh, after that, we'll piece together Sauron and uh, take a look at that figure too. Um, up until the Moria Orc comes out and that comes with uh, Sauron's mace, which will give him a weapon. So really, really excited about this. Frodo looks fantastic just in the packaging. Really looking forward to opening this one up. As you can see, it comes with Sauron's torso and uh, his cape. So uh, yeah, let's let's open this one up and have a look. All right, here we are. We have Frodo out of the packaging. We're just going to move him to the side while we take a look at the extras and accessories. So here is Sauron's torso. It's looking pretty good. Love loving the detail on these pieces. So his shoulder armor does pop off. That'll be handy when it comes to popping in those arms, just to get those spiky bits out of the way <laughs> that'll, be, that'll that'll make it a lot easier um and then yeah it may end up just gluing them on unless it depends they, uh, they don't appear to be too tight or loose or anything like that so yeah we'll see how that goes but yeah that'll be a separate video where i put together sauron i'm really really excited about that so let's move that aside and here we have his soft goods cape multiple layers there I'll try and work out where exactly that will go on I assume just over his over his neck neck joint there but we'll see we'll work that out when we get to it also coming with Frodo is the tiny little accessory the light of Arendil. It's just a simple little silver piece but looks nice anyway and that will be a to put it in upside down tight fit but um yeah I'll, I'll probably just put this aside with my other accessories just so i can have frodo holding sting here i have the in use version of the ring of frodo that came with golem i did a review of that set uh last week so go back and have a look at that one but yeah we'll, we'll look at frodo because uh it's a really good likeness i think uh, i think they've done a really nice job of this Bright blue eyes, the curly hair, I reckon it looks fantastic. Look the details on his coat. I love just the little buttonholes there, buttons. And his vest, he's got his belt. Just a simple white shirt underneath, around the back, really nicely sculpted. Nicely painted too, looks great. It's great having looked at the uh, having looked at this one. Sort of looking at the sculpt, it's nice to sort of see it, you know, decorated with all the paint. It looks really, really nice. It's a scabbard for Sting, which does fit in nicely. We'll look at Sting too while we're here. Nice, nice piece. I like the uh, I like the texture on the wrap around the around the hilt there. I think it looks nice. Slot that one back in there. Just down to his trousers. Pretty simple. Hairy feet, hairy hobbit feet. Oh, it looks good. All the holes in the belt there. Looks really good. I'm pretty excited about this one. This looks great. If we get a little bit of a size comparison, I'll bring out Aragorn. So there we have Frodo and Aragorn together. So uh, yeah, just looking at Sauron, Sauron's going to tower over them all. It's going to be incredible. I cannot wait to put him together. But um, yeah, this is this is really nice. It's, uh, considering I've had the Toy Biz ones in the past. Um, yeah, this is definitely next level. 
And again, I've stated it a couple of times on, on most of my reviews for the Lord of the Rings figures now that I, I really hope Diamond Select keep going with these. Um, I know they've got an uruk on the way. Um, those are sort of getting shipped out now. Uh, Gandalf will be next as well. Gandalf the Grey, which will be nice. I'm looking forward to having a... Uh, I never got the uh, Toy Biz Gandalf the Grey. I had a couple of Gandalf the Whites, but never Gandalf the Grey. And I also missed the six inch version of um, the Hobbit version of Gandalf from the Bridge Direct. Um, but did get a couple of those, but yeah, this is really, really nice. It looks awesome likeness to Elijah Wood. Looks really, really good. I'm stoked with this one. So yeah, this will, this will get some really nice shots outside with the camera. Some cool toy photography. I'm looking forward to that. So yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please sound out in the comments below. Give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Next up will be the Ring Wraith, which will be a very interesting one. Looking forward to, I don't know, I'm just trying to fit the uh, Light of Aaron deal in his hand there. It's, it doesn't really want to sit. It's just a little bit awkward. Um, there it goes. Yeah, it might display okay with that. No, nope. <laughs> maybe not. That's okay. That's fine. I'm not too fussed about that at all. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you think of Frodo. I'm, I'm pretty, pretty happy with this one. Really happy, actually. So yeah. Stay tuned, folks. Tomorrow will be the Ring Wraith. So stay tuned to my channel. Please subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And uh, yeah, I'll be back very soon with the Ring Wraith and the construction of the Build-A-Figure Sauron. Really excited for that. Stay tuned. See you next one.